Okay, let's try um, again, hopefully with uh, the white pieces in a safer start position than that. Um, dear, oh dear. Uh, losing every other game at the moment. Uh, I think um, I think 2200 might remain a record for a long time at this rate. I don't think I'm going to get up that mountain. So it's going to have to be uh, the games, aiming for good games. Um, it's hard anyway on the uh, 15 minutes. Only 7 people are above 2300, I think. Uh, big rank. Poor, she's high up on it. Um, Eight, so you can see uh, the others go up on water. Uh, so there's a few, yeah, actually, there's only five people at the moment on the active list above 2300. Okay, so, um, okay. Chess C4. Try Gambit. So this guy is uh, off his peak actually. He's uh, been up to 1955. February. Oh, recently. Hold on. Was that yesterday. Oh dear. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> He's played 40 games, and it was 1955 yesterday. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, and, um... He's 18.47 now, so what's happened between yesterday and today? <laughs> Let's have a quick look at that. What happened yesterday? He had loads of wins to get to 1955. Then he lost... Four or five there out of six. Okay, interesting. Anyway, let's play this gambit. Uh, is it going to be accepted? Nope, it's not going to be accepted. Play D takes here. Or taking the knight B5, I thought it was supposed to be quite good here. Black is supposed to play a6. If knight b5 is f6, I think taking and then knight b5. I think this is supposed to be good. For knight c7 or knight d6. Hmm. Oh, it's in like these six check. That's an interesting position. I could take on A6, that would be quick for the moment. Um Would that be useful to play C3? If I take maybe rook H3 next or something. Yeah. If I don't take C3 Hmm. Take or not to take. If I take, then no, nope, I'm confused. Okay, C three. What about F six, F four? Just try and hold the center. That could be an idea. I'll try and hold the center. Alright, so there is actually after that move, there's only the bishop. Knight c8 and <laughs> bishop a6, isn't that just winning a piece? I think it's the last move.
Was he trapping my bishop with c4 knight? No, no, I'm attacking the rook. Yep, seems to have nerved a piece there. Trying to shut down the counter play over here. I think F4, F5, just Knight F3 and stuff. Yes. Queen F2 to G3 or something. Maybe F5. F5 here is also looking. Before G6 happens, looking pretty good. <coughs> hmm. Right, so there is uh, either F6 or uh, FG. Probably this, this counterplay with F6, like H5 and. Huge space advantage, I think I'll play F6. Well, I don't want the position too closed up. Uh, go for that H6 pressure, so... Uh, Knight h2, g4, from h5, then back, and then knight g5. Right, let's get the rook in. It's g3. Maybe then king f2. And h5. Or even double rooks on g6. Okay, having knight h2 to prompt. H5 to create another weakness. Uh, have I made it a bit more difficult? It looks, it looks a bit closed, really. Um, can use the A5 for nothing else. Get onto the A5. I'll reject that one. <clears throat> okay, so like Bishop D one now or Bishop B one? Bishop D one try Bishop Oh, there's might be knight A four coming up. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. All right, so I get this knight to g5 now. Get the rook back. Or oh, try and break with knight f7 at some point. Knight e6. I'll try and load the TV in a bit. Okay, so after rook b7, um, I think I should. Uh, well, there's knight h7 and queen h6, that's a bit adventurous. Didn't really want to be that adventurous. Uh, what about just playing for g4? g4 looks good. Let's play g4. Try and break open the position over here now. Five next. <clears throat> well, 
well, it's 96, but I don't really want to give a piece back particularly. Except if it's really crushing, which I don't know, it does look quite tempting. There's Rook A7 coming up. So, uh, given that, uh, I could uh, prepare Knight E6 in this position and play Rook E1. Actually, or Rook A here to C5. I think, yeah, I think there to C5. <coughs> Rook C5. Then knight takes f7. If the king's blocking f7. <clears throat> if. Okay, it's he's allowing knight f7. Knight d6, queen e6. Knight d6 here. Or queen e6. Maybe queen e6 is better. I lose that bishop. Queen c6. King moves to a6. Uh, there's no immediate mate, so I think simple is just h1 here. For a moment. Knight g5, probably f7. If king c8, well, there's no king c8 to take of the rook or knight d6. So, knight d6 would win the rook on e8 if he tries to protect like that. Knight d7, oh, there's rook b5 check. I think that's over. Hmm. Okay, so um yeah, I think it's fairly over. Uh, so there's a key blunder in this game. Let's have a quick look. And it's always moved here. Hang on, queen e6 here. Take take queen a two could be on the cards. So queen e six, queen c six, oh, queen a two. I'm in trouble. I would hope not. Um, there is knight d six trying to sort of. I think knight d six would be useful. Then queen e six, on g eight at least. Not not giving much time for rook b one. So there's knight b5 and queen c6. Knight b5 another tempo gain. Queen b7, rook c7. Hmm. Okay, so queen c6 coming up. Queen b7, rook c7, queen a6, knight c7, 
um, queen b8, queen c6, and rook c7 here. I think just uh, check. Oh, there was rook a7 as well, winning the queen. Um, play rook a7 now just to win the queen. Um, I think that's good enough, rook a7. Pawns. I lose rook and knight for queen. Okay, you can take that check. King a6. Alright, I just play, I think, not e6 immediately. Also, I think I want to protect this rook anyway. And play bishop g6. Get two pass pawns. King g2. There's h5 if needed if rook g8. So F7 here. Can I mess this up? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's quite hard to mess this one up, isn't it? Part of the stalemate. If he loses both rooks and knight, there'll still be this pawn to move. Okay, he's resigned here. Uh, okay, so it's just, I think mean, it's basically a trap, really. You can't play c5 in this line because of taking knight b5. It's too dangerous, I think. Uh, comments or questions on YouTube? Okay, uh, thanks so much.